Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to show you quick some uh, quick accounts on the, the FOMC response here. The FOMC meeting just happened and we came this morning with the strategy with our group to stay small. So I tried to stay small all day, see? One contract here, one contract. Also notice I staggered the date to expiration. This is part of what I will teach on Saturday where you go SPY, you know, at zero days, seven days, 14 days, when you buy directionals, when you sell SPY, SPX, when you do yes, what are the triggers that I'm looking for with the power indicators? So look here at this zero day T, which I'm going to get out of, I bought for $1.32 and it's uh, $3. It went as high as 375. So almost a triple here. I got on uh, others of those size here. A dollar 32, three bucks, right? Over a double, you know, almost three times your money. So it's pretty cool, everyone, you know? Uh, small, size, small size can get big, you know? Today it's, uh, what, uh, $1,300. There is uh, 389 still open. So let me show you what I saw here when that happened uh, today. By the way, the rate of return here, 132 to 312, like I said, is uh, almost a triple. You know, it's like 2.5 times your money. You know, in a day, the 445 put uh, that expires Friday, three three bucks to a dollar uh, 37, it's almost a 50% return. The one that expires in seven days, five bucks to 570 is almost 15% return on your money. When you compare that with the traditional 4.5% return from a money market, it's not shabby. So let me show you the trigger here in the tools. And then I'll show you also where the market could go and where you should see. Number one, I was looking at this area all day, this 446. So let me uh, zoom for you. On the power indicator, I was looking at the short-term calculator for a trade today. I was looking for those edges right there. See, this is where I have a 100% chance of a short. Obviously the 444 was very accurate and the edge exit is around where we are right now, which is around the 440.3. 440.3, well, 440.6, you know? So I knew coming in, what would be my box and probability for the day. Second thing that I had noticed after Powell started talking is the VIX started uh, uh, running up. And what happened also all day long is our world, and it, which is really the most accurate uh, indicator is this, net seller, net seller, net seller, and our institutional power uh, volume indicator just before the meeting. And look here, this thing was going up here and we kept on going down anyway. And then we resumed again, a new low on the power volume indicator. So I knew I could tell there was some weaknesses and I was waiting for this spike around here. So what all of this does for you is gives you opportunity to with very small amounts of money, it's asymmetrical bet, and I especially like puts on SPY, to risk, what was that? A dollar 32 to make $3.30. A dollar 32 for $3.30. Those are the asymmetrical risk with small sizes that are great because even with small sizes here, I had five to 10 contract, was able to make $1,400, okay? So I hope this is helping you, especially you guys with the small accounts. You know, you understand why I enter, why I exit. Another thing that was very important in my decision-making process is my short-term uh, trading net sellers. I could see the institutional selling, the major selling, the minor retail volume selling. So this was down here for short. This retested at the edge. This was lower high, lower low since 12 o'clock. Boom. I was looking for short at resistance. I hope it helps, guys. If you want to learn more how to trade SPY, this is what I specialize now since I'm 22 years old and I am 52, so it's almost 30 years. SPY, uh, directionals, zero DTE, income trades, and directional, SPX, ES, and MNQ. Don't forget, we have a very rare event this Saturday that will start at 8 a.m. Very rare. I do three of those per year. It will be Saturday. If you're on our database, you'll get all the details. 
One more thing, sorry. I wanted to show you bonds here. So what's next coming after the, after the, the FOMC? Well, look at the bonds. All the net pressure is on the downside for short term and long term, which means the short term and the long term agree that we will continue to have down pressure on the bonds, which means that rates might continue up for a little bit. But look, it's coming very, very close to the end here. We are at the institutional support right now at 10, we would be at 108.29 on the bonds to 107.17 at the bottom of the long term calculator. So when this institutional zone is lined up with my bottom of this calculator and this calculator, I know as a bond trader that we are approaching between 107.15 to 108.29, the end and the absolute bottom of the bonds, which would be a rebound in bonds, which will make the rates goes down. So if the rates goes down, right, and bonds goes up, right, market will rebound. So look at the, I think a very important point to look at the market is the SPX 4275 area. Watch this area very, very carefully between now and the end of November, December, you know, because typically if the feds are going to lower rate some, somewhere between January and June or July of next year, you have to see about six months prior to that where we might have a bottom low in the market. So watch this bottom on the bond, watch this bottom on SPX, and I think it will be tremendously helpful to you guys. I hope it was helpful, gave you the logic, gave you what's coming up. I hope it was helpful. Your likes, comments are extremely appreciated if you want more videos like this. Take care and make sure if you have not done so to get your power indicator, this tool right there, for swing trading and long-term investing is absolutely free for you for now to get. It's called the probability box rule of third. It is probably pretty much the my entire life's work that I'm giving you guys for free for swing trading and long-term investing for asset with asset protections and tax efficiency. Okay, I hope it was helpful, everybody. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.